Hey, okay, so we have finally finished getting all the flooring out. Um, we, we made a decision early on that we're going to replace the flooring um, in here for two reasons. Number one, at this back door, all the wood down here was rotted. Um, so even from like getting the bolts and stuff off underneath, I could tell that there was so much rot that it was actually flaking off when I was trying to tap it to tell Katie where I was so she could undo the bolts from the top. Um, these windows here have really bad seals, so they were getting replaced. And because of that, water was getting down and rotting next to most of the windows. So it's coming in there, it's coming in here. So that was the reason that we decided to replace all the flooring. Oh, just got to try to step down. Um, we already cut one piece, which is at the moment sitting out there. Yes, yeah, there, just so I can show you the floor removed. Now that the bus is bare, Katie's working through um, to remove all the Sikaflex on the bottom of the razor blade. We found that's the only way to actually remove the Sikaflex properly. Um, so she's got the slow and tedious task of doing that. And I've got the task of measuring and cutting all of the new structural ply. Uh, so we opted for 17 mil. It's a little bit higher than um, than they were using before and a little bit higher than most people recommend at 12 mil. Um, but we opted to do it for 17 mil on two things. Number one, they didn't have it at the regular Bunnings that we go to. Uh, and I didn't feel like driving an extra half an hour just to get plywood. Um, and secondly, being structural ply and having, especially at the back, um, we're looking at having a very big um, battery bank and things like that. So I wanted to get more ply, that's like thicker ply to support that weight. Um, and we're going to have the king bed with a uh, aluminum frame and then the four of us all sleeping on it. So I just wanted it to be as rigid as possible. Um, plus we've got two young kids and they jump around and spill things and all that stuff. So I just wanted it to be a little bit thicker, a little bit more durable. Uh, we're going to coat the underside with bitumen rubber. Um, so bitumen rubber, it's kind of like tar. Um, it's what they use to seal the road. So it's very, very waterproof, very durable. Um, we'll live up to things getting kicked up at it and, um, and being wet. So we're going to coat the underside in that. Um, then the top's going to be sealed around the outside with Sikaflex. I know it's, we've just spent ages trying to get it all off, but it's the only real thing that's going to seal around the outside and not crack if the bus gets twisted when we're going off-roading um, and things like that. So we wanted something that's going to be a little bit more flexible but strong. But yeah, so my job today is to cut out the other four panels, um, which is going to be fun to work around all this um, and all the holes that need to be cut out. Hey yo! There's the six flex cutter herself. Um, so yeah, but my amazing father-in-law had the genius idea of laying down um, baking paper around all the curves and then tracing out with a pencil. Um, so we're just going to lay that template out over the wood to like get a bit more straight of a cut, so have fun. <laughs>
come back out with this. Huh? Don't give the camera not to you. Of course you are. Oi, so dry. Hi. Is that funny? Do you like working on the bus? Yeah? You like helping? You helping? by one centimeter. Okay, so the sun is starting to set and I just want to show you guys what we got done today. We have a floor the whole way through we have and the amount of tedious tiny little measurements and tiny little sands to get everything fitting snug was well worth it um, it's still a little bit wobbly in some parts because uh, we decided that we'd get all the wood cut 
so we can start painting it um, with the bitumen rubber. Um, I'll be still going to get time for that today because it went way longer than I thought it was going to take to, to get it all fitting snug. Um, and there's still little bits of leftover wood underneath the floor that we just put down um, from when we ripped up the current floor uh, both yesterday and today the little bits of plywood came off with it so that stuck to the, the sticker flex underneath the floor so the next job is to scrape all that off so it's all looking nice give the subfloor either a pressure rinse or a scrub um, and grind back any rust and, and paint or like rust prime the subfloor or the sub beam subfloor beams and then do the bitumen rubber and put the floor down. Um, we've opted to, oh, because we've got, so because we had two boards meet here with the battery boxes, it has a metal cover that usually goes on it. Um, we've opted not to keep the metal cover because the, uh, the metal cover with the old floor sat like, I think it was about 5 or 10 mil shorter than the wood that we've got in now. Um, so to keep everything flush and level, we're going to keep the wood that we cut out um, of these parts. Um, and they're going to sit over this battery box to keep it all like flush and level. Um, and then these two pieces are going to either be either be glued together or hinged um we haven't fully decided on what we're going to do yet but either way um we've kept this part here um although we are going to grind this down um but this we're probably going to put in um, like a little ring handle so you can pull pull it up um but at least that's the plan anyway so uh, at the moment until i grind down um, the old little locking part, it does sit not flush, um, but that's fine. But besides that, I am one happy chap, because that's one thing that I really felt like needed to get done and was going to be one of the biggest tasks. Um, so now that's all done. Um, we're ready to start finishing off um, different parts of the bus. So now that the floor is done, um, once we get the bitumen rubber on, it's going to be on to insulation and walling and roofing um, and then framing up everything. So it's all coming along nicely. Um, I keep saying, you know, today we're going to get this, this and this done and we do not even get close to, to that. Um, I just have high ambitions, you know, thinking if we can aim high and, you know, um, 